Let's try this. I think my voice is back to some degree. So I'm going to have two clips here, your sit down and the act in peace. And then looking at this, this is pretty good. Um, I think my only note was for this section through here that arm is doing. I think this, let's go in there. Um, once you spline this, you want to make sure that like at this point, he is kind of leaning forward, holding on to this. And then this starts to move here we go, uh, at the same time. So even in step mode, you could technically put in breakdowns that show, well, you know, is he going to start leaning over with the hips first? And then this comes over and then the whole body leans over and then pulls because he's pretty old. So he's going to use, you know, his full body lean to pull this. Or is he pulling with his arm first? <clears throat> sees that it's kind of too heavy, starts to lean over with the body, and so on and so on. So there are different ways of showing what he's going to do. So I think for your next step, you really have to get out of your step mode or add more keys and breakdowns in your step mode uh, workflow just so we kind of get a sense of what is he going to do. Because the other thing is also he just goes over for one frame. I mean, not stepped, meaning that he just goes over and then stops and then takes a step forward. Is he going to go over there hold on a bit and take a step or you know is he going to go over and then take maybe another step for balance and then take a step forward so it's, it's a little bit simple I think you can push that and show a bit more of the mechanics and then timing wise this also feels really fast and I know this is a step but if I'm looking at the general timing of and recovery you know if I'm making sounds he goes and pulls this it feels like he will pull hold and then go forward so this reversal here on the on the root going left screen left and screen right feels too fast. It's weight wise. Versus the steps feel cool. It's cool. I would probably here give it a bit of a pause. So it pulls and then step, step, hold, 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 and sit down. It kind of gets ready to sit down. Although you might argue that you could do it here. They're both kind of the same in timing, so it's up to you if you want to kind of hold here, or hold here. The reason I was bringing it up here is just, this feels a bit too low. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far and I would just probably round this out a bit more and I would round their hips down first. This feels like this is a 90 degree angle. So instead of going so low with the upper body, I would rotate the hips down so that it kind of flow more into the legs and then you can have a nicer bend uh, and then not go as far, um, you know, with the head. That'd be my, my thing here, because as you go here, this feels like he's getting hit over the head. Bam! How fast this goes down. So I'll give probably here a bit more time and then he goes, rrr, rrr. And then I will keep the timing you have here. I just wouldn't go as low. I'm just gonna slow the whole thing down to keep the timing but I like the timing that you have a little bit of a pause again for contrast and texture I think that's cool I think the balance is a lot better I like how poop, that drop is a lot faster because he is getting out of uh, off balance here and because of that bloop, he plops down faster which is cool but then I'll be careful with how quickly your head boom, goes down and especially up that impact there feels too fast and given how old he is and how he's just kind of sitting down and this would be just a compression that would again I would probably rotate the hips forward a bit more and then maybe do more out of here so it's less concave in there okay for getting that that weird break in the shape and just going back if there's anything I think what's going to help you too is by staying over here longer and doing all of this, delaying this, and maybe not going as far screen right, you're giving the hands more time to go back to where you have it while the body is maybe here. And why am I saying this? Just because at this point, here we're already kind of losing the silhouette. It's not too bad. We're seeing the upper arm a bit. But once you're here, it's just kind of a hand shape coming out of his stomach. It's kind of like Quato from uh, Total Recall. So even here, that arm is very aligned to the upper body where, you know, I'm looking for something where the arm will be a bit more um, separated, 
there's more negative space and a better silhouette. This just feels kind of weird where you have this kind of stump coming out of the stomach there, or the crotch area. But overall, definitely much better. <clears throat> And then don't forget, even as we don't go, I would suggest not go as low, right? Keep the timing, don't go as low. Maybe you know, just the hips and we're only going this low, which will slow the whole thing down, but it's still gonna be a certain amount of speed going down. So make sure that the head has a little bit of drag as it goes down. So, you know, the head could be up here, not so, A, aligned with the chest, but this feels like he's looking straight down for no reason. So you kind of keep the head up a bit more, um, you know, looking maybe this way, so that it feels more like he is trying to keep balance, kind of look at where he's going, you know, unless there's always, there's always a reason for something, unless you're saying, well, he's so exhausted that he's going <clears> to <throat> take a little break there. But then if you do that, Sure, then you can do this, but then I would really push this and sell the idea where he does this, waits a bit, you can see some breathing, he puffs his cheeks for a little bit of a... And then he sits down, you know, kind of getting ready before the big sit down, which might be a lot of exertion for him. So, I mean, then you can start putting a bit more acting in there where, um, you know, you really play up that he's old. But I thought you mentioned that this is purely for body mechanics, so um, that it's up to you. I would probably keep it more simple just to just the pose pushing some acting in there and then what I would look at here it still feels a bit like shoo, it's getting this clamp and everything moves without that arm moving and it doesn't really affect the rest of the body I mean I see here something where this is low and you're going back and it adjusts it so maybe what you can do to sell this a bit more a bit of a hand adjustment but bringing in that elbow in <coughs> kind of flatten that visual shape there. And I don't know if you need to push it over more. This might be overkill, but you can try it. It's something where this seems like such a deliberate grip. I mean, if you look at the posing too, it's not just like he has his his hand on there and, and the fingers just kind of droop over. This feels like yeah, I am holding onto this. This is my chair. Uh, so it feels like there's so much purpose in this grip that you want to see this played out in here. Uh, again, this is up to you. So either you can loosen that grip and he just kind of puts his hand there. Or if you're doing this for a nice steady grip because he doesn't want to fall off, then you can almost have this and then he pushes himself over where the root goes from here to here. Like he holds on to this, straightens his arm. He goes up, right, gets off the chair a little bit. Um, to kind of get off and then down to sit at the end, maybe here, right? Maybe a bit of a, a bit of a positional change, if that makes sense. Like he, he re, um, that's not even an arrow. <laughs> so he just puts his root over, put more screen left. All right. I say all right all the time, and no one's listening. You know what I mean? Like there's no interactive thing where you can tell me yes. So I never know why do I say this. But that's for that, but overall definitely better. Um, so either I will go for your next step, put in more breakdowns to look at the timing and the posing and all that good stuff, or switch it over to spline uh, and look at the timing and the posing. But with spline, you will definitely get a good sense of what's going on, how fast things are, and do we need more holds somewhere, and so on and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then, let's go to this guy. I had some thoughts on this one. <clears throat> so I'm playing this A for people watching but also because there's this weird break in the audio is this a moment where Gwyneth Paltrow starts talking I know the scene in the movie this is from 7 um, it's a good scene at first I was a bit mm, really you want to go and take that scene because it's a it's a good scene but I think the biggest thing is also on her like her acting is great her little breakdown but you don't have in here so it's mostly on him so that's why I'm assuming you're cutting here but it just feels weird is this something where she starts talking or he has a bigger pause is there a way for you to take out that that silence it feels super weird you gotta fix that 
And I don't know what this is. Does he say all of this? I don't know. I don't know why there's a gap in between. And that, so I would fix that. And I would cut after the sound, right when the sound ends. Or if there's more silence. Or you find, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's some moments where they stare in, in that sequence. But you can add some ambient sound that you can kind of crossfade into. Not a hard cut. But it's always weird when there's sound. And then suddenly the sound ends. It doesn't feel as clean. I think you want to make your presentation as clean as possible. So that's kind of the weird thing. <clears throat> that's number one. Number two, just visually, got to be careful when we are this big in frame with a face. There's just so much going on with the head going down really low, really high, and lots of side to side wiggling. This, like stuff like this here, very fast. This gets really low. We're getting close to the chin here. Whoa, and then it gets really fast up here and you got so many pops i'm just curious like this would be a candidate to spline right away like what does this look like because right now it could be <clears throat> slightly deceiving because it is stepped and that's why you get that super poppy feel but my gut feel here is that once you spline this it looks like he just is shaking around all the time so my main thing would be calm your your curves down there's too much stuff going on Acting wise, like I do like. How can I, bring a chair? I like how you have your your inhale here, how can I bring a chair to a world? and I like how he deflates. You know, how can I do this? And it's it's a, it's such a devastating thought for him, and you, you show it up by going visually down, how can and then he has a little bit of a resolve there. How can a person grow up with all of it? You know, where it's just a bit more serious. Like, why would you do this? It's not like, oh, this is so sad, but this is more like. Let's not do this, and that's why he gets up. I think that's a cool choice. How can a person grow up with all of it? It's just too wiggly, and especially once you get into stuff like this here. The other tricky thing is when you have such a moving head, and there's nothing going on in, in the neck, and also visually, we're losing the neck and the silhouettes. Uh, so you just have a bobble head while the body is not really moving, which is a bit distracting. And that just feels too much. Now you just like slumped over and head down. So, you know, you can easily just go from here to here, a little bit of shoulder droop and sell the same idea. I like the idea, but I like the thought behind it. It's just way too much. Same thing here. And I'm not sure, <coughs> excuse me, I think this, His voice here, it's almost like he, he's resigned and yeah, I'm just not going to have it, that type of thing. And I think this dramatic up and this angry look and all that, just that section here feels out of place. This doesn't quite fit, uh, to me at least subjectively, it doesn't quite fit the audio, whereas this fits more. I would stay within this emotional range, but not go as high where you can maybe stay within this height. Even though, I mean, technically, if you go by thirds, this is a bit more pleasing and we're a bit, A, way too low here. And I might argue that we're a bit too center here, so maybe a bit higher, but I wouldn't have this crazy big change. You can also say all of this. So from here to here, he takes all this time to get to, maybe the eyes are lower here, but to a higher point. Like he slowly raises where he says the whole thing. With that shrug at the end, I think that's cool. I told him I didn't want it. Same thing here, I wouldn't drop this much. Again, this is a big move. And then overall, once you calm all that stuff down, the same thing with all the eyebrows and the mouth shapes. It seems pretty good till now. Again, this is all stepped and it's going to be different once you spline it, but there's nothing standing out crazy. But then it kind of starts with stuff like this where, whoa, you're really breaking that upper lip. And then here where it kind of feels off to the side, it just feels uh, over complicated. 
careful with like sudden shifts going from left to right again with your jaw this once you spline this you're gonna have to take out a lot of keys space this out a bit differently there's just too much stuff going on even through here where you have these sudden shape changes so I think in this case just like with your sit down it's going to be helpful um, to spline the whole thing and see what's going on because even stuff like this where you have this sudden corner shape up I'll kind of simplify that a bit more and not go into are you just suddenly this this seems a bit better I'm just going to reduce this a bit and then watch out for your geometry overlap there suddenly feels a bit weird here but I wouldn't go from here to here just it just seems like too much and then you go back down here where the corner goes from here to here it just all seems very very busy I think if I had to say one word to describe this take it's just very busy <clears throat> I think in general it's cool I like your your acting choices I like how your the body variation that you have this is all very cool it just seems very busy and messy so I think spline this and go into your cleanup mode um, and then we can go from there all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you